Before we dive into predictive modeling, we need to cover the concepts of autocorrelation and white noise, as they will come up often later on. We know that correlation measures the extent of a linear relationship between two variables. Therefore, autocorrelation measures the linear relationship between lagged values of a time series. This means that we have multiple autocorrelation coefficients, each corresponding to a different lag. For example, R1 would be the autocorrelation coefficient for the correlation between y at time t and y at time t minus 1. R2 would then be for the correlation between y at time t and y at time t minus 2, and so on and so forth. We usually plot the autocorrelation function, or ACF. It is a scatter plot with the lag on the x-axis and the autocorrelation coefficients on the y-axis. We also plot an interval of significance to help us determine if an autocorrelation coefficient is significant or not. Here is an example of an autocorrelation plot, or correlogram. As you can see, the lag is on the x-axis, and the value of the coefficient is on the y-axis, and the pale blue area that you see is the interval of significance. Note that when there is a trend, the autocorrelation will be high for small lags and gradually decreases as the lag increases. Therefore, we can see here that our ACF plot clearly shows a time series with some kind of trend. Note also that the autocorrelation will always be 1 at lag 0. Now, if a time series has no autocorrelation, then it is called white noise. White noise is a purely stochastic or random process. The ACF plot should not show any significant autocorrelation coefficients. Here, we have an example of an ACF plot for a purely random time series. As you can see, only the autocorrelation at lag 0 is significant because it is always 1. After, all coefficients are within the blue area, meaning that they are not significant. So thank you very much for taking this free preview with me. As always, there is a link in the description below if you want to take the full course. The link will have a promo code applied to it already, so you can click on the link and you will get the course with 87% off. And if by any chance you click on the link and the promo code has expired, feel free to send me an email. It will also be in the description and I will send you a coupon code so that you get the course on sale. So thank you very much and I'll see you on the next one.